I never liked the quiet. Um, my mum, she used to bring me here because it was so lively and welcoming. It was like a second home. Uh, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to say a few things about her whilst I'm here. Most of you know about the cancer. They removed her bowels to stop it from spreading, or the doctors did. They gave her a plastic bag. She hated it. A bag to urinate in. She hated it. She said... <laughs> she said it was like having a bath wearing a life belt. And she used to sing here in this pub. You know how you'd all get up and take turns, and she'd get up and sing even when she was very ill. Anyway, there, one night there was, uh, there was a dwarf comic, and he told tall stories and jokes. Made my mum laugh. She loved him. And then when he went off stage, they, they never took off the microphone. He was still there only about three and a half foot from the ground. And then you all asked for a song, and... And my Uncle Howard, he, he said to my mum, he said, give us a song, Elsie. And then everybody else, she all started chanting, give us a song, Elsie. And then the man at the piano, that's you, Charles, you, you started playing the song of Goodnight Irene, because, you know, it's like a signature tune. And eventually she got up because she was so overcome because of all the warmth. And, you know, Pop was nice. When it had warmth and, and friendship. And when she got up, the drummer gave her the hand microphone. And my mum, she, she put up her hand to stop everyone from, from cheering. And the man at the piano asked for a hush. And my mum, she was very uh, moved. Moved. And in the loudspeakers, because the dwarf's microphone was still on, because it was standing about waist height to my mother, the sound of gushing water. The microphone picked up the sound of my mum passing water into a plastic bag. Everyone could hear it through the loudspeakers. And some of the people laughed. You laughed. That night at home, my mum, she got up out of bed and went to the bathroom drained a pint of bleach, which killed her. After that, it was very quiet at home. <laughs>